Hey guys, welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave, and do I ever have an announcement for you today? And you have to wait to the very end for me to tell you how I know this is going to happen. So stick around. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets myself and YouTube know you're enjoying these videos. Okay, with this report, I'm going to be sticking my neck out pretty far. And I can't say that it's guaranteed, but I do have some sources that have confirmed that it has been talked about in the inner circles. And when you look at it close, it's pretty intriguing. I have good reason to believe that Elon Musk is going to attempt to launch Starship to Mars before the end of the year. Now, I don't know if that means landing or just orbiting Mars. You say that's crazy and it can't happen. And before I looked at all the facts, that's what I thought as well. I mean, Elon has been known to pull some stunts for publicity's sake and to get his point across. Just look at the Tesla Roadster in space. Do you remember Elon Musk saying this? And I quote, It may literally be easier to just land Starship on the moon than try to convince NASA that we can. What do you think would happen if he actually made it to Mars? You think the Artemis program would continue? What about SLS? Or would they put all their eggs in Elon's basket? I mean, he'd be proving something to NASA and to his investors. The money would start flowing literally like water. When this information was brought to me, I was pretty skeptical. But then I started to think, what if? I started doing some research and talking to different people. And that actually opened me up to the possibility. There's actually a Mars launch window opening up here shortly, between July 17th and August 5th. You see, Mars will be at its closest approach to Earth on October 6th of 2020. This won't happen again for another 26 months. So basically, if he doesn't make it happen this year, you can't try again until late of 2022. And that's when he wanted to start sending supply ships to Mars. That's two years before he wanted to start sending people. NASA actually has a plan to launch its 2020 Mars rover on July 17th of this year. This is during the same launch window. If launched during this launch window, it allows a spacecraft to meet up with Mars orbit at its closest point to Earth, and will use the least amount of fuel. You could actually launch after August 5th. The problem with that is by the time a spacecraft reaches Mars orbit, Mars would be moving away from the Earth, and it would have to use more fuel to catch up to Mars. Okay, so in addition to that, this is what else I have. Now this here is an FCC filing. This launch filing was submitted to the FCC on the 3rd of February. That's last Monday. This filing was submitted by SpaceX. Anytime you're going to make radio transmissions like what's required for a spacecraft, you have to file a form like this and get approval. The requested operation start date is March 16, 2020. Its purpose, experimental launch, Landing and recovery of the Starship Orbital Test Vehicle in Boca Chica, Texas. Now this will be for SN1 Test Vehicle. So, why is Elon Musk pushing so hard to get Starship built by then? And asking for FCC approval before Starship is even built. And we have this tweet from Elon Musk that he put up on Twitter on the 4th of February, which was Tuesday which says they're having a job fair and they're ramping up the four shifts in Boca Chica back to back and they're looking for manpower to fill those positions. Now this is that career day job fair. And in Milan fashion, it even had a mariachi band. And by the looks of it, it had quite a turnout.
Now, just for the heck of it, I started looking around. I went to SpaceX website and looked for job postings. Just in Brownsville, Texas alone, which is the closest city to Boca Chica, SpaceX has 42 job listings on their website. Not to mention 38 on Indeed, another 41 on LinkedIn, 45 on ZipRecruiter, and another 49 on Glassdoor. These are all employment websites. And this doesn't even include any job postings outside of the Brownsville, Texas area. I know what you're saying. Some of these could be the same jobs on different websites. Actually, I checked. Some of them are the same, but not all. They currently have several people employed there in Boca Chica right now. I believe they're currently running two shifts. What happens when you add an additional 50 to 100 employees to that? Even if you're running a total of three or four shifts. The other question is, why do you have to run four straight shifts? I've worked in a lot of places in my life, and I've worked a lot of overtime. The thing is that when they push this hard for something, there's normally a time frame. They're looking to get something done quickly. So what do you think their motivation might be to get this done so quickly and spend this extra money? I can assure you of one thing. If Elon didn't have a good reason to be doing it, his investors wouldn't allow it to happen. Uh, but that's, that's, our, that's our goal, is to try to um, make the 2022 uh, Mars rendezvous. Um, um, the uh, Earth-Mars synchronization happens roughly every two years. So every two years, there's a, an opportunity for um, to, to fly to Mars. Uh, so then in 2024, uh, we want to try to fly four ships, uh, two of which would be crewed and two, of which, two, two cargo and, and two, two crew. Okay, so now we have four ships going in 2024, two with crew and two with cargo. But then before that, he wants two cargo ships on Mars by 2022. That's all an awful lot without having proof that he can even get there. That's why it makes sense to get one ship there, at least in orbit around Mars by 2020, for proof of concept. I do realize, to accomplish this, they still have to produce a Super Heavy. Without a Super Heavy, they can't even get to orbit. There is just simply no other reason for what's going on right now. No other reason to be spending this crazy money to work this hard and this fast. Now, even after all of this, you may still be thinking, this guy's off his rocker. But there's several people out there that believe the same thing. Maybe now that I'm the first person to have let the cat out of the bag, so to speak, the others will come forward with more proof than I have. And if I got this one wrong, I'll be the first one to admit it. But I don't think so. There is actually one person that can prove what I'm saying. I suggest you tell us what your real plans are, Elon. Just remember, when this actually becomes reality, remember who told you first. Okay, and this week we have a new patron. I'd like you all to welcome Ysidro Garcia. I want to thank you so much. Welcome to the mob. Thanks to you guys, this channel's growing every day. And you too can join the mob for as little as $1 a month. Check it out down in the comments. Elon, if you'd like to talk about this in depth, give me a call. I'll meet you for coffee.
and I'll buy.